This video will discuss the first humans of the old stone age. So we're going to start with Homo sapiens sapiens. It is said that they spread from Africa about 100,000 years ago, living and traveling in small groups. Then they became hunter-gatherers as the knowledge of agriculture had not yet existed. They spread about two to three miles per generation. And what I mean by that is they didn't really go far from where they originally came from, but they were able to populate the entire world within tens of thousands of years. With, this, with them traveling away from just Africa where they started, they spread to different climates. So adaption was key to human survival. So they all came from Africa and they went to different places around the world. So they had to adapt to their new environments. That brings us to our Paleolithic ancestors. Paleolithic age. Paleo means old stone. Okay, so this is about 2.5 million to 10,000 BC. Okay, and they hunted and gathered their own food. Hence the term hunter-gatherer. Of course, they had no knowledge of agriculture or raising animals. With them spreading from their original hunting ground, they had to know their environment and the animals in that environment in order to survive. With them knowing their environment, it helped them to gather berries, fruits, helped them to hunt fish and buffalo, depending on the geographical location. Again, like our Homo sapiens sapiens, they lived in small clusters of maybe 20 or 30 people. They moved where their food went. So if the vegetation cycle changed, they, they went along with it. If their animals migrated, they went with it. Made them nomadic means to move from one place to another. They had to use great knowledge and steady observation of animal behavior and patterns in order to hunt them. So let's put in perspective today. I wouldn't go out there hunting buffalo if I don't even know the patterns of buffalo. I'd mess around and get myself killed. So this took great effort and group effort. Everybody had to work together in order to get food to survive. With them studying their animals' patterns and their plant growth patterns, tools started to develop to make hunting and gathering more efficient. Um, this is where the invention of the bow and arrow came in place. This way you could take down your prey from distances as opposed to getting up close and using, you know, first year, first known weapons like knives and to cut open your prey's throat to kill it. With a bow and arrow, you could shoot it from a distance and then collect it. And for those in the coastal area, harpoons and fish hooks made it more efficient to catch fish as opposed to just using nets. So let's talk about the roles of women and men in the Paleolithic age. Everybody had to participate for the survival and for food gathering and hunting. Men and women were thought to be somewhat of equal because they both played, played a major role in the survival of their community. Even though women born and raised the children and stayed close to the camp, they were in charge of getting the nuts and grains and berries, which played a huge part in the diet. Of course, the men who were not close to the camps hunted wild animal, as this was thought to take of great strength. So let's talk about shelter and homes. Colder climates, areas where it would normally be cooler or colder, they, they had cave for shelters. Like weapons, over time, their shelter got more evolved meaning uh, they use wood poles or sticks that were covered with animal skin. A lot of the depicted ancient pictures shows this type of housing, or they would use bones of mammoths instead of wood. They would use fire as their heat in the way they used to cook their food. Now you have to remember in the beginning, there was no such thing as really cooking so much as gathering and eating from nature the way nature intended. However, over time, just like everything else, for adaptation and survival, the idea of cooking came about too. They realized that cooking their food made it taste better, it lasted longer, and it was easier to chew and digest.
So that's it for this video. See you next video.